Seeing the image of a smiling robot with the word happy beneath it on posters and stickers throughout the CSRA. Well, a new full length documentary premiered in downtown Augusta tonight about the story behind the happy campaign. News Channel 6's Ann Maxwell joins us live in the newsroom with more on tonight's big premiere. Local artist, artist Leonard Zimmerman started the happy campaign to cheer himself up. Now his popular cartoon is inspiring happiness around the world. Happy, a small film with a big smile, tells the story behind the campaign. It premiered tonight at the Imperial Theater. <laughs> Leonard Zimmerman has a lot to be happy about. I woke up crying this morning because I realized that this, but it was happy tears because this is going to be going out to even more people who will, who will hopefully get a smile from this. A documentary about his life, Happy, a small film with a big smile, premiered Saturday night at the Imperial Theater. His happy cartoon has spread all over the world. It all started with five posters with a smiling robot face that um, I just stuck downtown. But most people don't know anything about the man behind the drawing. He's a graphic designer from Augusta. Michael McKinley, an interior designer from Milwaukee, learned of Zimmerman through social media. But when he heard Zimmerman's TED talk, he knew he wanted to share his story. Leonard's story was so inspiring to me, I decided that more people needed to hear it and see it. So he took a leap of faith, reaching outside his field of expertise to produce and direct a documentary about Zimmerman's life, which has not always been as happy as his robot cartoon would suggest. Zimmerman was devastated when his partner Brian passed away about 10 years ago. He didn't have smiles for a long time. And so once he finally found them for himself again, he decided to spread more, which is why there's a happy robot all over the world. Now, crowdfunding has raised tens of thousands of dollars to get the documentary off the ground and submitted into about 80 film festivals around the world. He said, if you could do one thing for me, have a fantastic life. And I think I'm actually doing that now. If you miss it tonight, you can see Happy in Aiken this November at the Southern City Film Festival. And they still need donations. If you'd like to donate, we'll have that link up on our website, wjbf.com. John?